boy boys welcome welcome to a little bit of sunday football action and we are back with the rabbitos here in our multi-year career mode playthrough year one and look it's been a hell of a regular season this is the final round of the regular season in the previous video you would have already seen that we are the minor premiers and that we are taking on the Parramatta eels here trying to get back on track because the last video we kind of embarrassed ourselves in the dying stages of the match when we pretty much handed the win to the Melbourne Storm actually not really Jerome Hughes did a lot to win that game but yeah as always shout out to the gang if you're watching this right now be sure to head up that comment section with a hash tag odd squad and let's jump right into the match the final game of the regular season round 26 trying to get back to our winning ways here see if we can make a statement against the uh, actually, I'm not sure if they're in the top eight, this Parramatta Eels team. They should be, given the roster that they do have. As we get wrapped up just before the 40, Cody Walker. We got the wind on our side, the angle's perfect, and the power on point. A 40-20 to start the match. So usually I play a game of uh, this career mode, either before or just after a game of footy. And I've just got done watching the double header on Friday. Mate, how about those Penrith Panthers? Just too good in the end for the Canberra Raiders, given they did have a couple of injuries, or their main injury. Nico Klukster, as Jaden Saw runs into a bit of a brick wall. We're going to try and spread it out the back, it goes. Junior Totola. I don't know why I keep calling him Junior. It's Devita. It's Devita Totola. As Cody Walker gets straight to business, the 40-20 and the classic play to Campbell Graham this time draws in defenders and the source gets over in the corner. Beauty. Adam Reynolds from the sideline, he's got to be up there for most points scored this season. It'll be interesting, man. It'll be interesting to see these Daily M results. But yeah, back to the footy games so far. Uh, for round five, I've watched three of the games. My Broncos played the Bunnies. Definitely watched that game, man. Like I was saying in the preview, I had little to no faith in our boys to uh, do much damage to the Rabbitohs, and that was the case. Unfortunately, I will admit though, I did get my hopes up when Jermaine Asako strolled over for a pretty soft try in the first half. But man, the Rabbitohs just too good. Latrell Mitchell had a blinder. Benji Marshall filling in for Cody Walker. Dude slid right in. It was as if Cody was still playing. That's how oh, good Benji no. played. Just like how he played uh, for us in this little career mode as Clint Gutherson will race away here for a, a try off the kick return. A bit of a soft one. Left a couple of broken ankles near the halfway line in the process. The one they call King Gutho Shades of the game last week. Or last episode I should say. Scoring with a kick return. We've had our fair shares of uh, kick return tries ourselves. As they back that up with an error, a forward pass. The Eels immediately under pressure on the back of that try. We are going to try and score off the scrum here. Try and run the classic. As it goes out to Murray. Mitchell out the back to Walker. Floats it out. Josh Mansour skips around one. Not quite. I tried soaking the numbers, but I think Campbell Graham might have overrun the play. As Graham takes it out of dummy half sends it back to Murray we're about a meter out here as Walker calls for it thought it was going to go to Reynolds but Tavita Totola will get pulled up still three meters out Walker beautiful how many times have I said that these past few episodes Campbell Graham on the receiving end of yet another Cody Walker assist and it's just like clockwork, baby. I'm going to miss the cohesion of this Rabbitohs team. Wherever we head to next, I doubt the plays will flow like this. Inside the final 10 of the first half. I'm back with Para in attack. And they swing it out to Micah Sivo. Flirting with that touchline and we make him pay. We send him over. Got a bit of a extra treatment after school special for his troubles here. Who was it? Dan Gagai, right in his face. Oh, they won't show it on the replay. But we get another chance at scoring off the back of a scrum. We need to send it to this uh, second receiver. If you ever see the first receiver that close to the scrum, do not press pass. You have to skip that man because I think they throw a forward pass. As the source gets involved, 
little fend makes it to the 30. We still continue down this left side walker. Unable to get it away to Graham. Graham will slot in that dummy half. As we swing it to Tola, the trail Mitchell thought he was through. Looking good, the plays are, oh, I was gonna say the plays are flowing, but a flat footed Reynolds turns it into a little bit of a switch play. Fifth and last, Walker. In behind the ruck, nothing really doing. I try to chip over the top, we will get the tackle count reset. A little bit of good luck. As we go back to Walker, he sends it to Jacob Host and again we cut through and the try scorer will cross untouched. Somebody grab his apron because he is cooking tonight. Chef walks in the building. I repeat, Chef Walker is in the building. Half time, half time, man, what a game. Cody Walker trying to make us forget about that uh, little miss kick against Melbourne with a hectic performance so far. You know, for, for legend difficulty, the AI is making a lot of errors as they make yet another, the Parramatta Eels, that's probably their third, I think. Ooh. As we get hammered here by Campbell Gillard, it looks like. Jai Arrow looking to do the run it straight challenge, jokes. I lied as he gets it out to the playmakers, Cody Walker. Wrapped up on the opposition 40 here. But again, another beautiful play. Splits open the Parramatta defense. Oh, he gets the offload away. Mitchell to Gagai and Gagai will make it to the line I think we'll see here on the replay as they send it up to the bunker and Gagai does touch chalk we'll see from this side there it is four points incoming another silky bit of play this time Adam Reynolds our sharpshooter getting amongst it here as we look to kick it from the sideline yet again and it goes over Reynolds, still unsigned in 2022, I believe. So we are up by 18 points. Still got plenty of time left in the match. As Alex Johnston fends his way past one defender. This game against the Eels, man, it's been one... One, uh, what's the time? 53 minute training drill. One big training drill so far. They're offering nothing. In attack as we deliver a beautiful short ball. Campbell Graham gets it away to the source. And Josh Mansour will race away. Oh, relentless man. Out for blood. That is another hectic try. Simple stuff. Just simple drawing and passing. That loss to Melbourne last week is just a distant memory. This performance, boys, we are peaking. Heading into finals. Full time, full time. We defeat the Parramatta Eels in the final round of the regular season. 30 points to 10. We definitely took our foot off the gas with about 30 minutes to go. But we collect the dub nonetheless. We end the regular season with a win. Heading into finals as the team to beat. We are the benchmark boys with the head honchos if you will. As always, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more Rugby League Live 4 content or more content in general, be sure to run a shot at that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you, you. Cops got me on a pending case, cuz so I better watch what I say. Hey, wait up. Ay. Max season shock, strictly urchins up in my block. I'm Ooh. from that city where we hit P and R's and B and H to get dosh. Drop that bag, that and then slang it. Distribute that to the spot. Kiss down doors, lad. If I get the word that them ops are setting up shop and take that block.